biology and today's topic of discussion is the strapped species that is enterococcus enterococcus fecalis enterococcus fecalis or fecium right so before starting a discussion on this I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends so let's start about this enterococcus fecalis okay so what are the important points it should strike your mind about the enterococcus fecalis remember the stack species right the catalase negative coagulase negative right very important right uh, I forgot to tell you about the whether they are gram positive cocci or not the gram positive cocci in chance group D group D gram positive gram positive cocci in chance okay guys so they are catalase negative they are coagulase negative right and they give alpha beta gamma hemolysis variable hemolysis you can call okay guys right the other important features of the enterococcus fecalis is they are p y r positive test positive okay test is positive remember okay and the hydrolyzed esculin hydrolyzed esculin s Esculin, esculin, in forty percent of bile, in forty percent of bile, and sixty-five, six point five percent of, six point five percent of NaCl. Okay, right. So these are the important features about this uh, Enterococcus fecalis. So now let's talk about the reservoir. It's present in the human body, okay? So human colon, urethra, or a female genital tract. So as you can remember the human colon or GI tract, okay? Uh, genital tract, sorry, genital tract, of urethra, right? So if you wanna, if if you if you do any 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 kind of procedure, right? During any medical procedures, then these organisms are activated and causes what you call endocarditis. This is how they cause the infection, okay? So what's the transmission? Transmission is by endogenous, right? So pathogenesis, the bile salt tolerance allows survival in the bowel and the gallbladder because of the bile salt tolerance, they allow in what you call, uh, they, they, they survive in the colon and they, they survive in the gallbladder, okay? And uh, whenever you do a medical procedure inside the what you call GI tract or a genital urinary tract, uh, these organisms are activated and transported to the bloodstream and causes and go and stuck in what you call a heart walls and causes endocarditis endocarditis okay guys so this is really very important so what are the infections it can cause urinary infections biliary tract infections uh, then we have endocarditis sabe that's the same that's a subacute bacterial endocarditis okay so how would you diagnose that diagnosis by what you call a culture on the blood agar okay and um, antibiotic sensitive so antibiotic sensitive is really very important okay and uh, how would you treat it treat is by ampicillin if it's a single okay it's a monotherapy for a susceptible e fecalis infection ampicillin you can use or you can use what you call vancomycin so Okay, this is for USMLA step one. So try to remember the clinical, what it was genus features of this. Very important to diagnose, okay, rather than remembering the drugs that is used. If you remember ampicillin, if you remember vancomycin, it's okay. Because there are some bacteria, some class of enterococcus fecalis, which what you call, they are resistant to this, okay. So they are resistant to uh, vancomycin, okay. They call it a multiple uh, drug resistant, okay. So... In that we what you call uh, gentamicin resistance okay so these are the tobramycin resistance some 
like that so just remember about this okay and what's the, how do you prevent that that a prophylactic use of penicillin and gentamicin in patients with a damaged heart prior to intestinal or intact manipulations remember you have to use penicillin or gentamicin in a patients with a damaged heart was prior to intestinal or intact manipulations why because if you're going to do any procedure medical procedure then these bacteria are present in the what you call intestine they get activated they go to the blood stream and they cause they get stuck on the my, valves of the heart and cause what you call endocarditis so to prevent that we give prophylactic antibiotics that is a penicillin and gentamicin okay guys right so i'm sure this was a really very helpful video for you thank you so much for watching this video take care